Well, let's start off Surf Church Sunday with a spin from Eddie. Eddie went to the land of Nala. 31st Street area. That's why we call it the land of Nala. But it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. In the 70s. Hardly any wind. Beautiful grass I just cut yesterday. <laughs> oh, and it's about uh, 11 o'clock. I got a call about an hour ago. Please come by and pick up my knives. I need them sharpened. I got... I think I got 15 Cutco knives and two pair of Cutco scissors. That'll keep me busy today. That's all I got. I haven't gotten reports from anybody else if they went. If I do, I'll add them to the back somewhere. Getting ready to clean that fish now for supper tonight, that yellow-edged grouper. That'll be my next task before I tackle these knives. Now this is the one fish I don't have to scale. You have to fillet them and skin them. It's pretty though, ain't it? Yellow edge. Tonight. It'll be brown edge. Well, there it is, all skinned. Ready to go. In the refrigerator for later. Well, I just got through dropping off the knives at the fish house, man. The neighborhood is crowded. A lot of people on the beach. Cars parked everywhere. Look at that. Wait, they get up the road here a bit further. The neighborhood is people walking and riding and jumping. We gotta take the boys for a little spin when we get back. I got a report from Thomas. I'll put it to the end of the video. He went to the bay today. And he found a few coins, he found some of this and some of that, and he found a big fat tungsten ring. I may go there tomorrow. He said a lot of the targets were mid-beach. Nice bottle of wine from the fish man. Santorini. It's Greek. Of course, he's a Greek fella. It's imported by a local fella in Virginia Beach. From Greece. We're going to test it out tonight with the grouper. I like it. No change on the steps. But you remember all those trees they planted? They planted all this stuff. They planted some big trees. Well, they came in Friday, dug them all up. They were up two in here and two over there on the other side. They moved them. Well, they moved one of them right here. I don't know what they did with the other two. I guess they may be in the backyard or something. That's a change in house. This house is about three years old on the right hand side of the street. It just went on the market last week. I don't know. I thought he, uh, come on. He's a fisherman kind of guy. He likes to fish. <coughs> you can see he's got one tall garage door and one regular sized garage door. Well, the one on the left was boat. Get his boat under there because it's high. That's nice when you build your house around your boat. I like that. These two houses to left and the one next to were spec houses. Took them four or five years to sell them both, but they finally did. And this was a ranch, and the people cut the middle of it out, put a whole big upstairs over it. They're big dancers, that's like a dance 
studio, not a studio, but a big room just for dancing. Here's the other uh, spec house. Now this side of the street is on the bay. There's a remarkable difference in price from this side of the street to that side of the street. Here's my favorite house, belongs to an anesthesiologist. And a good knife customer. If you remember my videos from five or six years back, this was a Spanish style house. A military guy bought it, tore the whole thing apart, left the, left the walls and that's it. But new roof, new siding, new a new look. It was a head rid Spanish style bricks all over it. He really fixed that thing up. What are you doing, Big O' Jack? And this was a fantastic house before a guy bought it, tore the whole thing down, and built this one, which is another Spanish style home. But that one there that was there before, oh my God, it was a nice house. Chris corrected me. That's the second tree right there. Mm. I always had that one over there. This is the two they moved. This one and the one I showed you at first. It's going to be a fancy little ranch when you get finished with it. Mm -hmm. If and when that ever occurs. The one thing you don't do is mess with him when he's behind these banisters. He thinks that's like sanctuary to him. You can't get near him, you can't touch him, you can't do anything. <laughs> Here's some fish we had stewed up for the boys, some leftover belly pieces. And the cats. Well, I gave the wine a spin. Looks beautiful. Tastes pretty good, too. We're going to put some of it in the fish as well. Well, there's Thomas' spin. You got some quarters, some nickels, dimes, pull tabs, look like bullets at the top, and one big fat tungsten. That's better than I've seen lately. I think I showed you Eddie's, right? Eddie went to the Nada this morning. I'm not sure it's on here, but I think it is. If it's not, I'll add it at the end. It was bleak down there, though. Bleak as it's always been lately. I'll get back to you. I may go here tomorrow myself. This is better than what I've seen lately too. Yellow edge in the fire. Some rice. So what have we got over there? Broccoli? Broccoli. Boo boo. Waiting. Getting closer to reality. Recliner bound now. The best of it. To surf church Sunday. <laughs>